So one good thing about cleaning off your bench when you're done is you remember little things like this, the cam chain tensioner cap bolt, I need to install that. So that'll get tightened down to seven Newton meters. So I can't fit my torque wrench in here. So seven Newton meters isn't very much. I'm just gonna snug it down by hand. It's basically just a cap, so you don't go, need to go overkill with it. About like that. This jig I made came in super handy. If you wanna know how I made it or what it's for, there's a video called making a 240 degree template for rotating the crank. So I'm just gonna replace this timing bolt access cover and that's 15 Newton meters. Seems like a lot, 15 Newton meters. But here we go. It's about right. Next is the crankshaft end cover. It has a little O-ring and I like to put a little oil around there and a little, and I slide the O-ring on. A little more on the O-ring. I've actually had these get stuck on a Suzuki. So you really don't want to over tighten this too much. I think I'm even going to put a little oil on these threads just because what happens, this is this is made out of soft aluminum and the tool tends to wreck it. So we're not going to make that mistake again. So make sure I don't have too much oil. I just want a little bit. I don't really need any oil out here. It's just going to collect dirt. I just want oil for the O-ring contacts. Rip that off. It's a 14 millimeter. And it gets tightened down to 10 Newton meters. So I set this torque wrench to 10 Newton meters. This one has an adapter. It goes from 3 8 to 1 half. So 10 Newton meters. There we go. Go ahead and wipe that little bit of oil off. All that done.